Hi and welcome to another episode. What we've got here still is the Sinclair Spectrum Next and I'm going to be showing you how to get CPM installed on it because like me what you'd have seen the first time around is that we went down to more and then you went down to CPM loaded it up and it's showing you all this green text and it explains to you basically you have to go get the bits yourself for it stick it on the SD card and load it up and then it'll work then don't worry about the URL that's there because there is actually a text file on the SD card which you can cut and paste and stick directly into your browser. So let's get on with doing that. Let's first though turn off the computer. Okay so we put the SD card into the computer and we go across to that particular drive and then we go to next ZXOS and then we go inside CPM and then there's the readme file text file that was on about. Double click that and you load it up. Then you're given a URL. All the information there is basically the same as what we saw on the computer before. We can copy it, go to our favourite browser, paste and go to that particular site. It download wants to download the file straight away, so we click OK. And then there it is for me here. So you find that file, open it up in your favourite on compressor, in my case it's 7-zip, and then we have all these files. So what we need to do is go back to that CPM folder, and then we need to extract all these files. And there we go, they're all copied across. So we can close down that zip file. And while I'm here, I'll show you how to get files across into the CPM section because uh, there's no real point of loading it up and then taking the SD card back again to copy things across. So let's have some things to play around with as soon as we put it in the Spectrum Next again. So we load up, not load up, we go into games. In my particular case, this is the way I'm doing it, you can do it differently. Go into games, create a folder, and I'm going to call it the CPM. And then in here, for each of the individual games I'm going to play, I'm going to create a new folder. The Spectrum Next, when you're actually playing on CPM, doesn't see it as this way. You will understand when I've got it all running on there, but at the moment I've got Hitchhiker's Guide to Galaxy that I want to play. And I've also got Zork. Now, I'm not going to show you where I got these from, and I'm not going to do anything else, I'm not going to share them either, but what I will tell you is that you need the 80 versions, maybe even written down as x80 versions, don't try to use the x86 versions because that's the PC version of CPM um, and they don't work like that because obviously we're using the Z80 chip inside the Spectrum, so we need to use the 80 stuff, you'll understand when you start searching for it. So let me just copy stuff across to there. So as you can see, I've copied the files across. I'll go into Zork as well, just to show you the files there. As I said before, this isn't how the Spectrum Next under CPM actually sees these files, so don't get all excited that that's it. You need to actually mess around on the Spectrum Next to get these files across. And the reason why I put them in these folders is just to keep it where, it means I know where they are for later. So when you create your own folders, do that for yourself. Okay, so let's go close this down and go back to the Spectrum Next. Okay, so we've come back to the Spectrum Next. We've put the SD card back in again, turned it all on. So again, we have to go down to More and CPM. And this time it'll boot up and it'll install everything. At least it will do if you've done things correctly. Doing this all in real time doesn't take that long really. Then it says press space to exit and you go back to the main menu and then you go into more again and then on to CPM. It loads everything up and there you go, you've got CPM up and running. Now we can do a DIR just like we used to do in DOS or still do in DOS but there's really not that much to play around with if you don't know what you're doing with CPM. As I say, I don't know everything about CPM, I'm not going to pretend that I do. But I do know 
that there's certain things that need to be done now because obviously we want to get Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy and Zolt working or whichever things that you want to play around with. So first what we need to do is actually create a floppy disk um, virtual disk sort of thing. So we need to go back to the Spectrum next. So let's reset and go back and we go down to command line and then we type in dot mk data space quotes forward slash next zx os forward slash now the forward slash is done by symbol shift and v and then we need to create cpm hyphen or the minus sign and now we need to decide on what drive letter we want to be using now we can use a fair few different ones but let's just start off at the basics as drive B because drive C is the way that CPM sees the SD card you'll understand in a moment when we get there so that's going to be drive B and then we need to do dot P 3 D and then quotes we press enter it creates the space and it creates a, an image file or a virtual disk whichever way you want to talk about it and then you do that again but with a different uh, dash letter but not C um, and then it'll let you use another one if you want to but let's just start off with one for now so we'll reset yet again and we go down to more and we go to CPM yet again because that's what we want to play around with and then we can do a DIR or drive A of course that still stays the same we can change to drive B but nothing's there because we haven't put anything there so let's go back to drive A again and then for there we need to import C colon forward slash games forward slash cpm forward slash zork forward slash star dot star and we want it to get onto the new disk so drive b and it's importing all of those and then let's import hitchhikers while we're here so c colon forward slash games forward slash cpm forward slash hitch is what we called it forward slash star dot star now the people that well let's be honest if you're doing this sort of stuff you're going to know what star dot star means it's the wildcard isn't it so it's just copying everything that's there and then we need to put it to drive B and that's it done everything now so now we can go to drive B and do a DIR and everything's been copied across so let's just for the fun of it I know everything else works but let's just for the fun of it load up hitchhikers so just type in hitch because that's the name of the file that hitch uh, com file so just type in hitch, press enter, and hitch X gets the galaxy is done. So we can look, it's pitch black, open eyes, they are. I'll not type in loads of other commands, I'll not want to ruin the game for you if you've not played it. But let's quit, press enter again to quit. Yes, I'm definitely sure I want to quit. There we go, and drive B again. So we do the IR again. And let's just for the fun of it start up Zork 1. Start at the beginning and we can press enter. And there we go, Zork is now opened. And again, with that, you have to figure out all the commands and get yourself around and get like your pen and paper on your A3 pad and draw little maps. So I hope that was helpful. And as always, happy gaming.